A fight to keep monkeypox from growing as an epidemic will be centered right here in Grand Rapids. We told you earlier this month, Grand Rapids Aseptic Manufacturing has joined a European vaccine maker to bring their monkeypox vaccine to America. And now the federal government has announced funding for this effort. News 8's Joe LaFergie has our story. The Department of Health and Human Services announcing earlier today the feds will chip in $11 million to fund efforts at Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing's Grand Rapids fill facility. It's a uh, great step forward in the fight against monkeypox. And, uh, Bob Fenton is the DHHS monkeypox response coordinator. Grand River Aseptic already has a space at their Grand Rapids facility. The federal funds will help them gear up for the effort. Right now, the vaccine is produced at Bavarian Nordic's facility in Denmark and shipped to the U.S. The company that has made this overseas has a limited capability. Uh, so to bring it here to the United States to speed up the delivery, the fill and finish, uh, to actually have uh, vials ready to put shots in arms is a uh, big step forward. That $11 million will provide some of the equipment uh, necessary to go ahead and uh, prepare them and the supplies to be able to uh, take the bulk uh, vaccine and then to uh, put it in the vials to uh, have it ready to uh, ship to uh, jurisdictions around the country. Bavarian Nordic creates the formula and basically sends the recipe to Grand River Aseptic, which mixes and puts the vaccine into vials, adding about 2.5 million vials to the supply. Right now, it immediately expands the capability and speed at which we could get shots at arms. Graham's expansion effort over the last decade have put the company in a unique position to handle this kind of work. In 2020, they were awarded a contract to bottle Johnson & Johnson's version of the COVID-19 vaccine. While there's been criticism of the government's handling of the monkeypox virus outbreak, including vaccine distribution, Fenton says adding Graham to the effort could help both now and in the future. To have that relationship and that ability to expand manufacturing uh, speeds up the ability in the future that we could leverage again. Graham hopes to start shipping some initial supply in November. In Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, News 8.